Good morning. I'd like to begin by speaking directly to the Vasquez Lasso family. The pews inside this church and the streets outside of this church are filled with people here to remember and honor Chicago police officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso, a courageous officer, a dedicated public servant, a trusted partner, and a true Chicagoan. But each of you are here today to say goodbye to Andres, a devoted husband, a beloved son and brother, a proud uncle and cousin, and a loyal friend. Believe me when I say the heartache of your loss is felt across the city. Eight days ago, the Chicago Police Department lost one of our finest. The 8th District lost one of our bravest. The City of Chicago lost a guardian, a champion, a hero. But you lost so much more. You lost one of your deepest loves, one of your fiercest providers and protectors, and one of your greatest advocates and friends. You lost someone irreplaceable in Andres. Like many people across the city, these past few days, I've been trying to make sense of a tragedy that doesn't make sense. The grief of this department hangs heavy and constant as I keep thinking, how will I ever get used to something like this? But the truth is, we're not supposed to. Police officers are here to connect and protect communities and to keep our neighborhoods safe. That's what Officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso did every day, and that is what he was doing on March 1st when his life was cut short. That's why today hurts. It hurts because someone like Officer Vasquez Lasso was supposed to have a long and storied career. He was well on his way. He once wrote that he might not change the world, but he knew he could change the world of every person through his actions. That was Andres. It is his unmatched work ethic and truly positive outlook, his penchant for people and passion for service that made him such an incredible officer. People who knew him best say he may have seemed timid and serious, but once you got to know him, he was a fast friend and confidant. The way he lived his life was a testament to his character. At 18 years old, he immigrated to the United States with his family from Colombia. Quickly, he learned English, enrolled in college, and joined CPD by the time he was 27. He personified the American dream and never stopped building on it through his selflessness and sense of service. Two of his closest classmates at the police academy, Officer Lucia Chavez and Officer Luis Huseca, remember Officer Vasquez Lasso as a man with a big heart and remained humble and happy in all things. And someone who came to this country and did the job that few are chosen or called to do. A year after joining CPD, he met his wife, Melinda at a restaurant in Chicago on April 22, 2019, and the two became inseparable. Both originally from Colombia, they built an unbreakable bond in their very first moments. He was such a good and courteous husband, according to Milena, that her friends teased her about how much of a gentleman he was. He also loved to salsa, often taking Milena to dance with him. Andres was a devoted son, one of his greatest moments in life was buying a home and ensuring his mother's well-being. His mother, Rocio, always called him my police officer and said he never stopped working to take care of, protect, and provide for his family. When his sister, Carolina, and his niece, Alejandra, came here from Colombia four years ago, there was no question where they would stay. Andres even made it a point to pick Alejandra up from school. For him, family was everything. And he convinced Melania to expand their family with her beloved dog, Nalia, despite their work schedules. 
He also had a heart for the community, which was magnified by watching his cousin and fellow Chicago police officer, John Vasquez, serve our city. John's example was a part of the inspiration that called Andres to join the Chicago Police Department. He was disciplined and long held a dream of becoming a detective or a canine officer, and he would have achieved it. Anyone who knew him noted the pride in his appearance, his professionalism, his dedication to fitness, and his passion for football. With almost five years on the job, Officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso earned four honorable mentions, three physical fitness awards, an attendance recognition award, and a crime reduction award. He inspired all that knew him. His best friend, Oliver Vera, a Chicago police recruit, took encourage from him in deciding to serve Chicago. For the officers that did not personally know Andres, for those that did not go to the academy with him, or those that didn't have the opportunity to work alongside him in a beat car, telling stories and jokes to pass the tour, I'm here to tell you, you do know him. As he did the job, he believed in justice, in community, in serving the city just as you do. You know the pride he felt when he saw himself the first time after pinning on his Chicago Police Star. You know the feeling of finding and bonding with your new blue family. You do know Officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso. When you leave here today, we will travel in a procession. In that procession, you will see Officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso's blue and red families. A family of first responders made up of the Chicago Police Department, the Chicago Fire Department, our brothers and sisters from across the nation. You'll see community members from all backgrounds lining the route in support of Officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso and you. I truly hope that provides some small measure of comfort during this time of sorrow. Officer Vasquez Lasso made us all better better police officers, better people. Every one of his brothers and sisters in blue will carry the memory of Officer Vasquez Lasso with them. We will hold on to the pride with which Officer Vasquez Lasso served. We will remember his diligence, his purpose, and his compassion. And we will never, ever forget how he exemplified the best in our profession, even in his last moments. To his beloved wife, Melena, his cherished mother, Rocio, his sister, Carolina, his cousin, John, who was like a brother, and all those family members and friends who loved and shaped him. Thank you from the bottom of our broken hearts for sharing this incredible human being with us. We are forever in your debt. On this day and the days to come, I stand with the Chicago Police Department in praying for strength for the Vasquez Lasso family. His brothers and sisters in blue are forever yours. The Chicago Police Department will always be here for you.